the layer bud. And now let's see what a kienyeji bud will give you. The improved kienyeji bud, like the croira, will consume, if kept intensively, is going to consume 110 kgs of feed every day. And this bud is supposed to give you a minimum of 200 to 220 eggs per year. So let's see whether it is economical to have the Kienyeji bud or the exotic bud. So if this bud is going to consume 110 grams of feed every day, so in one year this bud will have consumed how much? So this bud will have consumed 40,150 grams. So in kgs, this bud will have consumed 40.15 kgs. So let's see whether we, have, we are making any profit by feeding this bud intensively. So. 1 kg of feed, we, when we calculated, we saw that, that, that 1 kg that can feed across the Kianyaji bud will cost about 33 Kenyan shillings. So let's say even 41 kgs multiplied by 33. See how much money this bud is going to have consumed from your pockets. So 41 by 33. 13.53. So this bud will have taken from you. 1352 Kenya shillings. This bud then has given you at lowest 200 eggs to 220. Let's see the bud gave us the lowest number of eggs. So 200 eggs that the bud has given you for the year, we multiply it by how many? The Kenyaji egg bud is egg is costing about 15 to 20 shillings. Let's even say that you are not able to sell at the highest. You sold at only 15 shillings. So this bud you have gotten from this bud 3,000. So the egg will have given you 3,000. So what profit have you made from this bud? It's 3,000 minus 1,353. So this bud will have given you 1647 Kenyan shillings. So at the end of the year, one Kenyaji bud will have given you 1647 Kenya shillings as from the egg. And then this bud, you can sell it at about the, fem the, the female, the Kenyaji females are costing about 500, isn't it? So you'll have about 2147, say even 2000. And then you minus the labor that you'll have incurred, the medicine. And this bud have given you about 1,500. You can see why people are running away to do the Kienyeji bud because it consumes lesser feed, it's a fast converter, and again, it is going to give you more money because the eggs are more marketable and they fetch a better price. We've done the layer, the economic value of the layer, the Kienyeji layer bud. Let's see when you're keeping Kienyeji for meat, how much we are going to get whether we are making any profit when doing Kienyeji for meat. The Kienyeji for meat, we have been, the research have found that we, we will keep it for a maximum of five and a half months. At maturity, this bird is going to consume 110 grams of feed. So looking at the one to maturity, we can take an average of 80 kgs, 8 grams of feed that this bird consumes from the zero days to the maturity time. Because at zero, at one day, it's going to consume about 20 grams and this one is at 110. So actually, this is just a matter of adding the two. You can get 65. Instead of doing that, I just take, took an average of 80. Not that you don't go so low or so high. So... This bird is going to consume 80 grams of feed every day, in average. 
So this bird, you're keeping it for five and a half months. That means you're going to have kept the bird for 165 days. So let's see how, many, how much food this bird will have consumed. Eight by 165 days. So this bird will have consumed 3,200 3, grams. If you divide by 1,000 to get in kgs, this bird will have consumed just 13.2 kgs of feed. So let's see how much money this bird would have taken from your pocket because this is not an egg producing bird, it's a meat. We are converting the food into meat. So we have worked out that the food of the chi of the kienyeji will have cost one kg is going for thirty-three. If you multiply by thirteen point two this bird will have eaten, this bird is going to have consumed for 35.6 kgs. Let's take in an average of 436 Kenyan shillings. Now, when you go to the market, the market price for Kenyaji bird today, the five and a half Kenyaji chicken is costing at 800. That's the farm gate price. So what the farmer is going to sell his bird to the supplier who goes to take the bus to Burma or wherever they are taking to the highest of a thousand. So basically you can see if you if you if this bird consumed 436 you'll have made a profit of if you sell at minimum 800 minus even 440 this bird will have given you about Kenya shilling 370 360 Let's say even you use the 60 shillings for labor, medicine, and anything, and even lighting for this bird. It means that your bird has given you 300 shillings for a period of five and a half months. So you can calculate for yourself and see if you have 500 bags, those birds have given you 300 multiplied by 500, about 1.5. I think is the best business that anybody can venture in. So you see your environment, see what is available, and see how much profit people are making when they are doing pottery the right way. So welcome to the pottery farming.